Hello everybody, this is Erica with Aurora Heart Healing. I am here on this December 19th and the number one thing that I am really wanting to share today is the gift of presence. Not with a T, but actually being present with each other, with our families, with our loved ones. I see this all the time. I used to be a server, uh, anybody that knows me, I was a server for a really long time. Legally 12 years under the table, it would be about 18 when I was a kid starting. And as I grew in that industry, I started to see something that was really unsettling to me. And it was how many kids sat in front of their tablets at the dinner table how many kids were just kind of doing their own thing and their parents were engulfed in their phones doing their own thing. And right now with the Christmas season, like literally around the corner, days away, I really wanted to bring the theme, the understanding of presence versus a present. When I look back, I don't remember the things I got as a child. I don't remember so much what we had, but what we really shared. What is it that when you think of your childhood, do you really think of the things your parents gave you? Maybe some objects were really awesome, but as you look back, what is it that really impacted you? Was it a thing that was given to you or was it wisdom that was shared? People gave you this insight, one thing that really impacted you. This holiday season, I really hope each and every one of you look in to the gift of presence, the gift of being there with each other. The gift of really looking outside of ourselves or maybe even deeper into ourselves to see what we are sharing with each other. This year has been really rough because I decided to do family, my own family, my husband and my children, Christmas just ourselves. What sparked that was that I felt like I wasn't being reached out to during the whole year. And as Christmas started to come along and Thanksgiving was here, I was like, we're starting to plan all of these things with each other, but we really didn't even make connection all year round. What, what is the meaning of these holidays if it's not really forming genuine connection with each other? As I made the decision of this year, I just want to be with my husband and my children. That's, that's it. It caused a very big uproar throughout my family, which understandably, I get it. What I didn't understand is what the purpose of this uproar was. As I continued making my plans with my husband, I just kept getting this these nagging feelings of guilt. And I really had to step back and think about why. Why I made the decision that I did and what made me feel guilty. The reason I made the decision is because the whole year is the opportunity for us to make connection. The gift of presence, the gift of, the gift of being there sharing through some of our hard times, being able to share with our good times and be happy and excited and joyful with each other. And that is what a present is to me, the gift of living, connecting, being with each other and saying, I love you. I love you through the good th things, the good times. I love you through the hard times. I love you. Then I come to the realization of like, yeah, yeah, I don't know that I really want to do all of this. Like, what is the purpose of hanging out with people I barely know? 
giving gifts, stressing myself out, thinking, oh my God, what do I give these people? I don't even know what they like. I don't know what they want. I don't know what they need. I don't know them. That was a hard realization that I came to during my soul searching of why it was that I decided what it was that I was going to do this year was I don't know my family. I know my children. I know what makes them light up. I know what makes them smile. I know that each year when we decide to make my gifts, the gifts that we give to each other and people outside of the home, that they are just like, oh, I love making this and I love making art and I love doing this. I know them. I know what lights them up. And they know what lights me up too. The other day we were sitting down and my kids were reminiscing about past uh, years when I, I've shifted from making, from buying gifts to making them. And that's because I want the people that I give to to know that I really genuinely tried, that I wanted to give them something from my heart and not something off the shelf. So we're sitting there and we're talking and they're like, oh, you know, I remember when we were making cookies and it was so much fun. Why are you on that keto diet? Now I can't make cookies. And I was just laughing because this year I actually, we, we made soaps. I kind of took the head on this one this year, but it was really fun to reminisce and think about what we've done in the past and what we want to do and how we want to show up for each other. And, oh my God, that was so funny. Do you remember this? And do you remember that? And can you believe that this happened? And it was just like this moment of genuine fun. And it was like a passion of ours that we all shared together. We shared it together because we all were involved. We were so connected in that moment. We laughed. We had fun. We were really in the present moment. We were sharing each other's presence. How many people are you going to go to celebrate these special days? Because holidays are special. I'm not going to take away from the special. But is it something that you're saying, I have to do this or is it something like I want to do this I can't wait I kept finding myself saying I have to do this and when I really think about that well I don't have to do anything I want to want to do these things I want to share with the people that I'm going to be surrounding myself with on these special days I want to I don't want to have to do anything. I want to enjoy what I'm doing. Of course, there's certain things that I have to do, but when it's something so special, so intimate, so deep, so connecting, why do we force ourselves to do these things? Being present with each other should be something that we enjoy, that we want. Creating memories with each other thinking, wow, I remember the year that we did this. This morning, we were doing our Toastmasters meeting, which many of you know I'm a Toastmaster, and I've been there now for a, over a year. And it was so awesome because this is my second year doing the White Elephant. And... I was sitting there and I was like, oh my God, this is two years with you guys. This is my second Christmas exchange with you guys. And in that moment, one of my really dear friends, she comes up and she gives me the biggest hug. And she's just like, I'm so happy. I, I'm just so happy that you're here. And I hugged her back and I was like, me too. I am so glad that I've been gifted with this club. And the same goes to my friends, the people that have really come into my life that really share their experiences, their moments, their hard times, as well as their good. As I've been reading Brene Brown, of course, over and over again, because she is like amazing. I see how 
we can just get lost in all of these different things, numbing, not wanting to face our, fo our, our problems, not really wanting to engage because it's scary. And then as I was sitting there in that moment in Toastmasters, I just thought I made the right decision for myself and for my family because what greater gift can we give each other than our presence? And I don't want presents just once or twice a year. I want presence and connection all year round. I want to know that every single struggle, we are deepening our connection with each other. I want to know that every single heartache that I've faced with my husband or with my children, we have actually deepened our understanding and our love for each other because we were there for each other. I want you all to think about that for just a moment. This is the holiday season where people are running around like crazy. The stores, I mean, I went to Walmart and like the stores are bare, the shelves are crazy empty. And I'm just thinking, as I was getting the gifts, the stuff that I was going to use to make the gifts that I was giving out, I thought, wow, half of the stuff that we get for each other, we don't even use. Half of the stuff, sometimes we don't even want. But the number one thing that most people would enjoy is each other. And we're only getting that once a year, twice a year, if that. So today, my challenge to all of you is to give each other the gift of your presence. Be the best person you could be and show up. Money is not going to create the memories that you want. Items is not going to create the item, the memories that you want. It just won't. I can buy something and it can break tomorrow. But when I think about someone with dementia, they slip back into the past. What is it that they remember? I want to remember having fun baking cookies with my kids. I want to remember my daughter saying, oh my God, that soap stuff is hot to make that soap. That's hot. Yes, it is, baby. You be careful with that. I want to remember looking into my kids' eyes as they open their gifts. And yes, we're giving gifts. But thinking, I know them so well that any gift that I got them was a desire of their heart. And not just my desire to give them something, anything, to fill that space. So today, my challenge is give your gift of presence. Not a present. Because a present is just here for the moment. Your presence will influence people today, tomorrow, and always. Thank you.